and who's come to say hello? Hi Coco! Hi Coco! Hi! Hi! The kids are doing some tidying up here in the playroom. As you can see. Um, and we haven't got around to switching our playroom to the Lego room yet, have we guys? Yeah, but we have switched the bedroom. We did switch the bedroom, didn't we? Yeah. And this shelf looks so full, I'm wondering with our other idea what we're going to do with all the stuff on that shelf. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, do you think we'll put it in the studio? <sighs> I don't know, maybe. So hey guys, the kiddos are tidying up in the playroom and we're just about to um, think about moving some stuff to the new playroom in the Lego room. I'm looking at all this stuff though and I'm wondering how it's all gonna fit because, you know, that room's a lot smaller than this room. The plan was sort of to downsize the amount of stuff in there as well, just because I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, and it does all get played with quite a lot, but I think sometimes it all gets played with too much and then it's a much bigger job to pack away. So I think it's kind of a good thing if we sort of downsize our stuff and maybe just put some of the stuff away um, somewhere else, like here, yeah, maybe in the stuvers. Stuvers, which are these over here, um, right here. We can put like puzzles and stuff in there. Hi Coco! And so at the moment we've sort of got like a makeshift gate in here um, to stop little coconuts from coming through. Um, but when we, and obviously we've got the same kind of deal happening over here, but we've got this gate out just now. This is the gate that used to be here. Um, hence how it sort of damaged that wall just there, which we will fix, but we're gonna put the gate back now. So we'll obviously do that later when we don't need this gate anymore. Um, I don't know what's gonna stay in here. I think we'll keep the rug in here. I think we will keep this. Um, we'll move that and that, cause that's what all of those were in. Unless we get some bigger tubs for those, we did think about that as well. But for now we'll move them out and I think we'll move that out too. And so yeah, this is gonna be the kids' new playroom. So hopefully it's big enough. The floor space is a lot smaller as well, but I'm just kind of hoping that teaches the kids to utilize their space a bit better. And instead of dragging everything out at once, packing things away when they're finished using them. So we had another idea. So what we were originally gonna do was we were going to put as we told you, we're gonna put the kids' playroom in the Lego room, the Lego room away. This playroom, you know, the current playroom, was gonna be made into a baby playroom. So basically, we're just gonna put more baby appropriate toys in there somewhere for Cosmo and Sylvie um, to use. Obviously, they're just babies now, but they'll be toddlers soon. And I did see someone say, um, why would the babies get a big playroom where the kids would get a small playroom? And um, Ro actually made a great analogy with that. He said, why do babies get big Duplo when kids get small Lego? And I think it's so true. Like, obviously bigger kids have better fine motor skills and everything. It makes more sense for them to be in a small space. Um, they have smaller toys and all of that sort of thing. Babies have big toys and they uh, just need more room, I guess, um, to be clumsy and to crawl around and all of that. But that being said, we're not actually sure if we're gonna put the baby playroom in here anymore. We've had another idea and I'd like you to give me your opinion on it because I'm not too sure about it yet. So ignore all of that mess there, but this is our living room currently. We've got the TV, we've got the stuvers, the bookshelves, We've got these couches here, and again, ignore the mess. And we've got a uh, cute little Sylvie down there. Hi. She's teething, so she's chewing on absolutely everything. And I do really like this as a living space, but we kind of had an idea that maybe we could move the living space into the playroom. So if we did that, the bookshelves would obviously stay out here. So the living area would be in this playroom, which is actually meant to be a lounge room anyway. Like it's designed to be a more formal lounge room or a theatre room. So essentially you put your couches here. I don't think we'd put all three in here, but we'd put one here and one here maybe. We'd remove this because obviously that's full of toys. And not only that, it has the PowerPoints behind it. So it would need to be removed so we could put the TV in front of it. Um, and we'd take down the board too because well, we haven't even used that in a while. We did use that board when we were homeschooling but we haven't really used it since then. We just haven't really had the time to do those sorts of projects. I've thought about it and I've been like, yes, 
we'll use it, but we just haven't. So we're gonna take that down. And yes, we're thinking of using that room as a lounge room. My biggest reason for wanting to do that is because this space here, this space, which, you know, does look like a lovely lounge room, it feels super, super cluttered to me with the couches there and, you know. So when you're sitting here, like, you know, trying to watch TV or whatever, kids are always coming through. You know, they're going from the table where they're drawing to the toilet, they're going from their bedrooms to outside. And it just, I mean, it's a nice place to have a living area and we'll still have a living area here. I think we'd still keep one couch here, but we'd move the others and the TV out. And then I think we would have baby toys here. So maybe if this TV was gone, we could just get a smaller little unit here just to put a few baby toys and that way they can still play out here. What do you think, Coco? Do you think you would like your playroom to be in the playroom? Or do you think you'd just like to continue playing out here like you do now? What do you think? What do you think? I think it would just be kind of nice to have like a lounge room that is tucked away um, like with the sofas against the walls and just somewhere you can feel like you can relax, you know, a little bit like more closed off and a little bit more cozy. Um, other than just in the middle of this room. But yeah, I'm just not sure what to do because I did like the idea of having a big playroom for the babies. But now that I've got the idea of just putting the lounge room in there, I'm not sure if that's a better idea. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you understand what I mean. My thoughts feel a bit jumbled, so I don't know if I made any sense. <laughs> What do you like about the vacuum so much? What do you like about it? Does it do you like it because it makes a loud noise? <laughs> Seriously, never had a baby that loves the vacuum as much as Cosmo does. Now enjoy this room while you can, buddy. We're just about to put a gate up. All right, so this is the room so far. I feel like the camera doesn't actually do justice how big the room actually is. It's not a tiny room. I think it's big enough for a playroom. Um, and we've got more stuff to move into here, but this is just the start of it so far. So obviously we're gonna utilize these shelves a bit better. We're just starting to move a few things in here. And our beloved Grapat table, which is full of beautiful small pieces that definitely need to be away from the babies. And then more pieces under here. And we have a lot of this stuff in stock at the Bendy Bean stock at the moment. Uh oh, Coco, what are you doing now? Oh, you can have that piece, that piece is fine. And we're gonna make sure the babies have some of these bigger pieces to play with too in their baby play space, wherever that ends up being. Because a lot of Grimm's is appropriate for little ones, um, just not like these tiny, tiny pieces. What do you think, Otto? Good, I like it. Do you think this will be a good new playroom? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think it's yeah. big enough? Yeah. All right, so we've got the gate up. <gasps> what do you think about that? What do you think about that? <laughs> you just want to cuddle. All right, so the gate is baby proof. Let's see if it's kid proof. All right, so it's not finished. We haven't put all of the your toys in here yet. And even uh, even on the play kit. Yeah, we haven't done that and yet. Mommy. Yeah. And we're trying to get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is trying to get in, isn't he? Like his head. Aww. He's so cute. Mommy, like, I put your hair in. Like, it feels like we're in a cage. Like, does it? Does it feel like you're mommy. in a cage? No. But it does yeah. All right, so we'll finish up doing this room another time. We're just do sort of doing everything bit by bit, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.